Hey guys, it is Glam Gamer back in today's video, we are doing more steam reactions. Now today, um, well, this is the first time I've like restarted my computer in like a couple of days and I got this. Now, for those that don't know, I already have this game. And the reason I have not done any of these videos in a few days is because I've had zero voice for a week. Um, I have a migraine that's been kicking me in the head and I was in so much pain last Friday my voice took a hike and I did not get it back until yesterday and I did not want to push my luck. So I've got a few of these little bubbles to go over and there's a couple of games in this list I already own and play. So I have 25 hours on record with this. This is a game Jason and I play. It is a survival exploring kind of game. So it is like... Um, Gosh, they're Valheim and the Vampire Rising game. And there's a couple of other games that we play that are survival games that are like kind of like the best aspects of those games are like pulled and put into this one. And I really kind of like the storyline behind this one. Um, this is called Enshrouded. Now, in Shrouded, you are playing as a flame barn, and there is a big mushroom, basically, that took over the planet. And it's kind of like if you guys ever saw the CW series called Motherland, where basically the big mushroom was what connected all the women to the witch powers that they had. It's kind of like the same premise, except for this mushroom's bad juju. So... This says, um, you are, in, you are flameborn. The last embers of hope are of a dying race. Awaken, survive the terrors of the corrupting fog and reclaim the lost beauty of your kingdom. Venture into a vast world, vanquish punishing bosses, build grand halls and forge your path in this co-op survival action RPG for up to 16 players. It has 5,365 recent reviews. There's 40,848 reviews for all reviews. And the game is very positive. It just released January 24th, 2024. And I've been playing it basically since like February. Um, when Jason and I play, we only play like together. So that's why there's not a whole lot of playtime on here. We don't like play separately or at least I don't play separate from him. I don't know if he does or not. Um, but the developer is Keen Games, GMBH, and this is an open world survival build, uh, base building multiplayer game. And again, like I said, I've got, as you can see here, 25 hours on record. This is in my Steam library. And then this is an early access game. Now, there are a few negative reviews and they can kiss my ass because honestly, I really enjoy the game. So, um... Let's just watch the trailers because I really enjoy this game. I really do. And, oh, is it, is this one free? No, it is uh, $29.99. That reminds me, I forgot to load my thingamabob for the game reaction stuff. There we go. Let me get that pulled up so I can pull the information here in a minute when I stop recording. So, let's find the videos. If this is to be the end then I will tell them of the beginning that's how you start out of how your spark was ignited and the reason they, they put you in that little cauldron thing is to keep your spark alive of and your will to survive you. of the power that flowed from within you into this enchanting realm of beauty and decay. It is very pretty. Oh, and the red stuff is hot. Don't Your touch flame red stuff. has Bad. grown strong. It's fucking love. But in the end, it was not enough. You answered the call, but who answered yours? None. The darkness, the malice, the relentless legions of the mist. Yeah, Alone, they're running on mushroom No power one stands against the shroud. But you are not alone, for now we come with iron and steel, and the flame of the ancients in our veins. Yeah, Together, 
Galaxy. We take back what was stolen. Oh, we do that too. We'll get up on those towers and shake and jump this off earth right to over. our and will. Together, we declare if this is to be the end, it will not be ours. Was, that was a nice trailer. Um, like I said, I do enjoy this game. I own this game. Highly recommend it. If this. Um, let me go ahead and grab some information here since I'm I'm right here. The thing is with this game is that, you know, I just, I really enjoy it. And if you're into like survival games and things like that, then put it on your wish list. Um, I do have a server that Jason and I play on. Uh, I think you can basically, I have it set to like a certain number of people, but I can always edit that and make it bigger. Um, you can join other games. You can um, join other people's servers and stuff like that. I password protected mine with Jason so that people can't get into it. And half the time we can't remember the password. So I have to like load in and look at what the, the password is for the, the one that we use because like, neither of us can remember because I have to look at it and then tell him because I'm the one that set the password. So it shows up on my side. Um, but anyways, I really do enjoy, uh, these games and, um, or, you know, I like survival games. Um, I never thought I would. And there's some aspects of, uh, survival games that I really fucking hate, but this one really is, it's like a big fucking mushroom is trying to kill you. And, so you'll go into areas. Let me see if I can pull up some photos here. Let me move my head. Okay, so you see this blue stuff on the screen. That is basically mushroom. And anytime you go into an area where all this blue stuff is, you'll end up with like a timer at the top of your screen and it's it, you're considered enshrouded. And as if you die in that, um, then you literally just have to go back in and get your stuff and whatnot. Now, the red stuff that's off to the side, don't ever fucking do that. Uh, step on that or go anywhere near it. I glided into an area and I did not realize that you could use A and D to like turn your glider and ended up landing on the red stuff. I'm like, fuck. And I could not recover my stuff. There's no way to recover it. So basically you're fucked. Also, if you go into an area where there's like red cloud stuff, um, that means that the area is too high level for you and you will insta die. So blue shroud is, is okay. There's a timer that pops up and you need to get the fuck out before the timer expires. Red stuff insta die. So let's see, is there any, okay. So there's the blue stuff. And all of these like little round things, those are all mushrooms that you can pop. And then up here, these guys give you like squishy pod looking things. They kind of look like big loofahs. And then that looks like lava. I'm not seeing, I didn't see any of the red and shrouded stuff. Um, like I said, the, you have to like upgrade your home base in order to go into the red stuff. So, oh, there's all kinds of trailers and stuff at the end. I didn't even know those were here. So let's watch another trailer and see what this one is. Oh, yes. The big red plant thing where is... Can I go back? A dangerous fog corrupts the land. That red thing, you can chop that down. And once you chop that down, then the, the shroud will lift. This is usually found in what is called a well spring. The well springs are, you have to go there and defeat monsters. And sometimes there's big, big, bad, ugly motherfuckers in there. You got to destroy. But anyways, once you chop this tree down, the enshrouded um, area will start to lift and then you won't feel so sick. Okay. I'll play it again. You are flameborn. Let me restart The last this, ember of hope. A dangerous fog corrupts the land. Yes, it does. You are flameborn. Thank you. The last ember of hope to push back the shroud. I'm so proud to be. Like all heroic flameborn, you will use your deadly sword skills to slay your enemies. Fuck that, I'm a sorcerer. Uh, that is not a sword. Uh, okay, that's not a sword either. Right. 
Oh, come on. You can't just punch everything. But you can. Well, however you decide to fight, Flameborn confront danger head on. Wait, why are you sneaking around? I said head on. Okay. Because fine. you can do that. Do it your way. You can puke but shit from way far away. All Flameborn are masters of building. Building epic castles to show it. Oh, where's the castle? <laughs> You're meant to be building an epic castle. <laughs> you can rebuild. Let me tell you this. You can rebuild some of these structures, though, which we didn't know until recently because I read another review um, a couple of weeks ago, but this guy like built an entire fucking village and he took over a village. All he did was just put his his shroud thing, um, his like flame shrine thing in the middle of an NPC kind of village. And he was able to go in there and repair the buildings and stuff. We didn't know you could do that. Like that is fucking fantastic. Okay, I'll stop talking. Although that is nice. Um, okay, so you can build whatever you like. See? Uh, where was I? Uh, yes, Flameborn are explorers who glide over land and sea. Okay, then Flameborn are explorers who grapple over land and sea. Okay, uh, that's all shrouded stuff gliding. down there. I see. Okay, you're just doing whatever you want. Yes. Yes, you can. Where are you going? No, not into the shroud. No way. You're not ready for this, boss. He'll squash you. But what's going on here? There's more of you now? Oh, so you're teaming up. Uh -huh. I see. You're all against me. Fine. Play however you want. It's your game. Yeah, you can destroy basically everything in this game and rebuild it. There's some bosses that I've seen in these uh, trailers that I haven't met in the game yet, but we've only been through like a quarter of the game so far. So this is really cool. Now we did discover that um, the first save game that we had um, after a couple weeks, like, you know, we both got busy and I, I work two jobs right now and Jason got busy, busy with like several projects that he's working on for work and we did not realize that all of our shit got lost like they reset our server somehow and we had it saved and i'm like maybe they do like rolling restarts or something when there's a bug fix i don't know but we had to go back and rebuild everything and go back we only have we had like four people before we only have like three people right now so we have to go rescue the fourth one and so it makes it kind of redundant to have to go back and replay some of the stuff that we've already played. And I'm not too keen on that. But one thing that you can do, kind of like with Valheim, whatever you have on your person, if you like jump into somebody else's game or server, you take everything with you that's currently on your person and your experience and your level and all that kind of stuff. So I guess that's a benefit. But the problem is, is usually when Jason and I log out of the game, we take everything out of our fucking bags and we put it in our storage chests and stuff. And when we lost everything, we lost a lot of our high end stuff. And like, it really pissed me off that we had to start over from fucking scratch. All right. So there's a couple more trailers here. I, um, let's watch these. From the darkness. Mm. Awaken. Let the fire in your veins guide you, for you shall have nothing else to survive. No food or comfort until it is earned. The ones before you were fools. They pillaged the earth for a magical elixir and unleashed a ruinous blight. Yep, they did. They did. My newborn flame. Master the staff. Oh yeah, you can the bow. Ew, can you the shield. And the blade. For in the fog, weakness is a feast for the mighty. Just keep the Cast yourself into the rude beauty of our world. Unlock her secrets. Shape the earth. Dive into the shroud. 
Seek treasures and ancient wisdom. Build, not for yourself, for you are not alone. There are others waiting for you to raise a village or a kingdom. That was cool. Craft arms worthy of legend. Oh, he's rude, by the way. And ignite your skills. He's like, Flame what do you born. want? Are you done Call yet? Call upon your allies. Go away. And together, take back your I don't know what that monster is. I haven't encountered it yet. Next one. Oh shit, this one's six minutes long? Holy fuck, that's Welcome cool. back to Enshrouded. This is going to be our last video from the Gameplay Pillar series, so let's dive Yeah, I'm not I'm watching no six minute video. Welcome back to Enshrouded. Today let's talk about voxel based building and Welcome to Enshrouded. Today we'll be introducing you to a, little bit of this a mini series of videos exploring the key pillars of the game, including combat, building, and survival. Let's start with the basic combat mechanics in today's video. And Shrouded allows the players to lock onto okay. enemies. In order so if you look, you can see his health bar and then his stamina bar. And then this right here de denotes like what level the monster is. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure how the screen is recording. It oh, wait, am I in the way? Okay, so because there's a roof over this this player's head, if you look, it says sheltered up here above my head, and then there's warmth and comfort. So because he doesn't have a fire and there is no, like, decorations in here, he only is feeling sheltered due to something being over his head, whether he's, like, in a cave or under an arch or in a building. Now, this tells you at the top, you know, south and west. It shows you, like, the north, south, east, and west, depending on where you are. Down here at the bottom bar is his action bar where it like talks about his weapons that he has. And there are durability issues that you have for each weapon. And then you've got, of course, his health bar and his stamina bar are there as well. So every time you do like a press and hold for like building up something to like do an extra hard swing, um, it does use your stamina and you can run out of stamina. So then you kind of have to run the monster around in a circle until your stamina rebuilds um, and hope to God he doesn't hit you in the process and knock your ass out. So um, let's see what else I can in order point to out focus here. their attacks and movement on specific opponents. As the enemy attacks, you can block their action with or without a shield. Yeah, the Blocking right mouse button costs does stamina, a block. And once depleted, attacks cannot be blocked anymore. With the right timing, you can also parry enemy attacks. A successful parry will block incoming attacks, and but then also you just stunned him. Okay, so when you block, you use the right mouse button to hold your shield up and block, okay? But if you look, there's like little timer bars in the middle of the screen near the shield, and those, like he just said, if you hold it and then withdraw it at a certain point and then block when he's swinging, you can actually disorient them. If you look, he's got like the spinny shit over his head. Um, this is when you would put your shield away and then left click, left click, you know, and click, 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 click in order to swing, 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 or press and hold and then do a, a power charged kind of like swing with your sword. So there are different techniques that you can use in order to do like um stronger attacks on certain enemies enemy stamina this leads us to the merciless attack a powerful finisher that can only be used when an enemy stamina has been depleted once the attack becomes available it can deal a devastating blow to your he enemy did a level six he In attacked a level six a at a level two powerful weapons to choose from okay so on this one let me go back just a hair Okay. No gain experience Resizes. points and level up. I'm going to show you With something before you shoot gained, that arrow. Players will unlock skill points that can be used in a skill tree. For example, there are active abilities such as double jump, sneak attack, and blink, but there are also passive skills that improve your far? abilities or automatically what triggered happened? under certain conditions. All of the skills in players' class directions can be mixed in any way pop games, leveling system, customs, you can also use it. scavengers, Shroud that you will have a variety okay. of powerful weapons Maybe to choose from I, like, that has been depleted. Once the attack becomes available, it can deal a devastating blow there to your go. enemy. 
an inch. Okay. So these barrels right here, see the one that he's aiming at? Those are flame barrels. And you can see there's like a little diamond right here about where the number eight is. That actually will, um, it shows you like what kind of thing it is, whether it's blue for like water or red for like fire. And if you blow those up, number one, you're going to blow up the motherfucker with the, with the machine gun looking. And that is actually a like high action powered like crossbow. So he shoots like five or six bolts at you at one time out of a crossbow, but it's kind of like a machine gun action. So by shooting this, not only is he going to blow up the platform that those are sitting on, he's going to set off a chain reaction and also blow this motherfucker to the tree. Um, but also it destroys any treasure and stuff that's found on that platform and it'll leave a crater in the earth. So you have to be careful with that with shooting those, especially with ranged weapons, whether it's a wand or a bow and arrow. Also, if you look, it says 89 scrap arrows and 43 exploding arrows underneath. You can toggle between the two. Now, in this game, you'll use alt to go between your first action bar and your second action bar. And with the thing there, you can also toggle between those options as well. So you can keep multiple types of ammunition things in your bag. So if you just want to be a boyer, you can go in there and have your scrap arrows, your flint arrows, your wood arrows, your exploding arrows, your your flare arrows. You can have all of those in your bag and then just scroll between which ones you want to use. Each set of arrows does different amounts of damage. Same thing with you if you have like a wand or if you have a staff. You have um, charges that you need for a staff, whether it is fire, ice, or electrical um, for whether, again, a wand or a staff, you have those options. Um, now, there's one that's supposed to be for regeneration. So you have like health charges and stuff that you can use. I have yet to find a healing staff. I have not found one of those yet. But those are also options in here. And if you want to be kind of like a passive healer, you can be a passive healer. Um, also, you can buff up like how long it takes to resurrect people or how long it takes to bandage or you can become like proficient with potions and stuff. And there's a lot of crafting in this game. So there's a lot of like gathering materials and crafting and stuff. I have no idea how long I've been talking. Anyways, so I think I'm going to stop this here. Um, I've kind Probably of like you given you of a good overview of the game. I've also talked about some hints and tips. Um, if you are interested in playing this game, I do recommend it. I do say pick it up. Again, I have not played it very many hours, but I do have at least 25 hours on it. We've had it the game I don't even know when I bought it, um, at least since February. I'll have to look and see if I can find when, when I purchased it. Um, and then I'll, I like, I'll try and leave it in the description box when I actually bought the game. So anyways, I will see you guys in another video very soon. Leave your thoughts down below. Is this the type of game that you guys are interested in? What are your favorite types of games? Do you have a particular survival game that you do like favor? Like my dad's been playing Ark lately. Um, I know some people like Monster Hunter. You know, I really like the Vampire Rising game, but I hated the fact that you had to like feed the sucker blood every couple of days. And what if I get super busy and I don't have time to like get on for five minutes and like game? And what if I don't have blood to refill it? And what if I don't have time to go out and quest and shit to gather blood? Then my castle's going to decay and then poof, gone. Um, that was one thing I don't like about like Vampire Rising was the fact that I constantly had to be on the game every two to three days. And some days I don't play the same game. Some days I get fucking burnt out and I don't want to play them. So leave your thoughts on below. Um, I am uploading these on both channels. It'll go up in the same day and the same time. Uh, now this one does not have like a time limit. Like it's not on sale or anything. So this isn't like a time crunch to get it up. So I don't know when this will go up. I am recording this. It is officially March 30th. It just flipped to midnight. So um, it was March 29th when I started recording. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a fantabulous day or night wherever you are. Bye.